In previous videos, we learned two types of look. One is when it comes after action verbs to indicate completion of the actions. And the other one is when le comes at the end of a sentence to indicate new information the speaker wants to prompt. In this video, we'll look at when these two types of le appear together in a sentence. As usual, let's see the examples first. Explanations will follow later. 我看了三个小时的电视了。我看了三个小时的电视了。我电视看了三个小时。我电视看了三个小时了。他学了两年的汉语。他学了两年的汉语了。他汉语学了两年。他和了两杯咖啡。他和了两杯咖啡了。我吃了八个饺子。我吃了八个饺子了。We learned in the other video that when love comes at the end of a sentence, it prompts new information. What I want to bring to your attention in this video is that not only does le at the end of the sentence express the speaker's perceived new information, but it also indicates relation to the present time. For example, in the sentence 外面下雨了, the speaker prompts new information that it's raining outside, not in the past or future, but in the present. The speaker is expressing the new realization that it is raining outside now. In the sentence, 我不工作了, the speaker prompts new information that I'm not working. But not only that, by adding le at the end, it also expresses that the action of 我不工作 is in relation to the present time. It expresses that I used to work in the past, but I'm not working now. In a similar manner, le ending the sentence also indicates relation to the present time when it comes after the following two types of completed actions. One is when you mention the duration of completed actions. And the second one is when the completed action has quantified objects. It's usually called the double le structure because le not only comes after an action verb as a completion marker, but also appears again at the end of the sentence to indicate relation to the present time. Let's look at the first case. There are two ways to say I watched TV for three hours. One is 我看了三个小时的电视 and the other is 我电视看了三个小时 For more details about how to form sentences using duration words, check out the links below. In this video, we're focusing on the double le structure. The first sentence, 我看了三个小时的电视, expresses that the action of 看电视 for three hours is completed. But there is no way to tell its relation to the present time. It could have been done yesterday or the day before. You can say, 我昨天看了三个小时的电视, or 我前天看了三个小时的电视. However, if you add le at the end of this sentence and say 我看了三个小时的电视了, it expresses that this completed action lasted until now. So 我看了三个小时的电视了 not only tells the perceived new information, but also expresses that 我看了三个小时的电视 lasted until the present time. I watched TV for three hours can also be translated into 我看电视看了三个小时 or 我电视看了三个小时 but without le ending the sentence, we don't know its relation to the present time. However, by adding le at the end of the sentence, you not only communicate the new information, but you also express that this new information of 我电视看了三个小时 lasted until now. So, 我看了三个小时的电视了 and 
TV for three hours until now, or I have been watching TV for three hours until now. A common question at this point could be: Does this action continue after the present time? Well, the answer is that both cases are possible. It depends on the context and the speaker's intention. With this example. If I think I watch too much TV and does not want to watch any more, I can say, 我电视看了三个小时了，不想再看了 But if I still want to watch more, I can say, 我电视看了三个小时了，但是还想看 To summarize, you can use the double look structure to express an action that has been completed until now, but whether it'll continue or not is up to the speaker. Let's look at another example with the duration words. To say he studied Mandarin Chinese for two years, you can say 他学了两年的汉语 or 他汉语学了两年 Both of them indicate that the learning of Chinese for two years is completed, but we don't know its implication in relation to the present time. He could have finished learning Chinese a year ago or three years ago. But if you add le at the end of the sentence, you are not only prompting new information, but you are also indicating that this completed action of learning Chinese for two years lasted until the present time. In the same way, with the second sentence, by adding le at the end, 他汉语学了两年了 also expresses relation to the present time. So 他学了两年的汉语了 And 他汉语学了两年了 express the idea that he studied Mandarin Chinese for two years until now, or he has been studying Mandarin Chinese for two years until now. With regard to whether he will continue to learn Han Yu in the future is up to him. Now let's look at the second case when the completed action has quantified objects. To say she drank two cups of coffee, you can say. 他喝了两杯咖啡 By adding le after the action verb, you indicate that the action of drinking is completed, but it has no relation to the present time. It could be 他昨天喝了两杯咖啡 or 他今天早上喝了两杯咖啡 However, if you add le at the end of the sentence, you are not only prompting the perceived new information of her drinking two cups of coffee, but also implying that she drank two cups of coffee until now, expressing its relation to the present time. Whether she'll continue to drink a third cup of coffee or not is up to her. For another example with a quantified object, to say I ate eight dumplings, you can say 我吃了八个饺子 Again, without le at the end of the sentence, it doesn't express relation to the present time. But if you place le at the end, 我吃了八个饺子了 prompts new information that I ate eight dumplings until now, expressing the relation to the present time. Note here that the action must have quantified objects. If the objects are not quantified, the sentence only prompts new information. For example, if you take out 八个 and just say 我吃了饺子了 it does not express relation to the present time. You are just prompting the new information that you ate the dumplings. Similarly, with the first case, if you don't talk about the duration, 我看了电视了 simply prompts the perceived new information that the speaker wants to tell. It has no relation to the present time. All right, now let's do some practice. Use these words to say the following three sentences. You may use the same word more than once. You may pause the video and think about it, and leave your answers in the comments below. In summary, you can use the double le construction to express actions that have been completed until now. It indicates relation to the present time under two circumstances. One is when talking about the duration of completed actions, and the other one is when the completed actions have quantified objects. 
Whether the actions will continue or not is up to the speaker.